Guys, I can't tell you how important it is to have a trading plan. If you don't have a trading plan or don't know how to make a trading plan, you're never going to make money trading. You're never going to be successful in trading or your trading at some point is going to stall and just go sideways and not continue up. So it is really important that you have a trading plan. Welcome back YouTube, Harry here, known as Trade Shop, and welcome to this new video. And today is a highly requested question. We're going to look at how do you make a trading plan? I'm going to make it short, simple, make this video in five minutes. We're going to break it down in a few simple steps. With that being said, let's get straight into the first step of your trading plan, which is going to be your trading sessions. Now, your trading sessions are very important. Do you want to be trading during New York Open? Do you want to be trading during London Open? You have to make sure you know these times. And if you don't know about London Open and New York Open, go educate yourself on. You can find on the web, there's plenty of articles about sessions so forex trading sessions and there you can see you know what are the best times to trade because these times london session new york session open is when there's most volume in the market and you have the best chance to win your trade now you have to decide which session does fit your time zone so which session for you is the best to trade and before we continue i just want to remind you that down below is links to the discord channel and you can feel free to join there and I will leave this document in my resources here. I do have another uh, checklist here. I will leave this document in the resources. So please feel free to join. There's daily analysis in here. And if you haven't already, please leave a like and subscribe. Really helps channel out, helps support us grow. And yeah, let's get straight into tip number two. So this is going to be your trading routine. So you need to have consistency and consistency means having a routine so you need to have your time at the charts i recommend no more than three hours at the charts right so three hours should be enough to you know to analyze everything and to be able to get good setups second of all is your routine you need to be checking news how's the news today not news but as in forex factory which you can simply go here and there's a calendar is there any high impact news that might affect your trading this is a very important part Apart from that, you need to mark up your charts, right? So you need to allocate time before the volume has come into market to mark up your chart. And that's your trading routine. Let's go to the next step. So the next step is going to be your trade setup. So you need to have your entry and your rules. So when do you enter? When do you not enter? What are you looking for at the charts? Now, this is going to differ from everyone. And I'm not going to, you know, make a set rules that saying this is the only time you should enter. This is the part where you have to find your own strategy or not find or learn a strategy that's profitable for you and this has to be proven and tested you have to show yourself that over a sustained amount of time that you can be profitable using this method and this can all come into your trading plan to make sure that what worked in the past you are implementing in the future for your highest chance to be profitable you also need to have your take profit areas you know and you need to have all of these rules and you know when you're taking profits and how you're taking profits when you're going to enter a trade and this leads us on to the next part so now you know your trade setups, you're ready to enter the trade. It comes to one of the most important parts of your plan, which is your risk management. And you have to be very strict towards this. No matter how much you, losses you've taken that week, no matter how many wins, you should always stick to what's in your plan. And I always recommend risking only 1% to 2%. No matter if you've had 10 losses or 10 wins and you think you can e increase your, your risk, unless it's not in your plan, don't do it and only increase your risk there's you know certain circumstances to when you should be increasing not your risk but your lot size based on account growth and other factors that we can get into another video uh and also you need to have the number of losses so i make a set rule in my plan if i've taken two losses that day that's it I've, i'm calling it a day because i found like three losses is a, a lot one loss doesn't give you enough chance you know it kind of cuts you out of the market so it's very important that i set a number of two losses i call it a day but i do give myself a total of three trades per day set i'm not taking more and i can take less of course but no more than three trades a day that is set in my plan and that is how i manage risk and make this sustainable and long term so the last part of your trading plan should be your psychology and this is a very important part of your trading plan because this is where a lot of people mess up their, their trading can be great as in, you know, the analysis, the, the way they execute and, and the actual setups they have, but they all lack in psychological factors, stopping them from making, you know, gains in trading. And, you know, the first thing is FOMO. FOMO stands for fear of missing out. So if you've seen a big move happen, are you, and it didn't 
meet your rules that you have made here right it didn't meet your rules are you saying to yourself oh man i need to jump into this move this is known as fomo because you're fear of missing out on the potential gains you could have made and this is a really bad practice and it will normally end you in loss so you have to always make sure you're never fomoing right the second thing which i always always this is a huge tip that i always have is is it the best entry of the day so if you find a setup and you didn't enter on it which is a hesitation like you hesitated to enter on it the setup that you want to enter and it played out right the setup that you want to enter is it the best setup of the day is it better than the setup you either missed or is this the best entry that you can see that you have and this is very important to make sure that you're taking the best entry possible and you didn't hesitate to take an entry that was better than this but now you're just trying to catch a move because you missed the last this is very important to pay into psychology another one is greed a lot of people have greed you might see you enter a trade and then suddenly the trade jumps up you're about 12 pips in profit or something and you know you have range you think all right let me keep my full position open and not secure profits for the day because i think this can continue up and then what ends up happening is that maybe a candle comes down and you only six pips in profit and then the you know and then you get stopped out at break even always secure profits no one has gone wrong in securing profits there's no such thing the fourth thing on this list is going to be forcing a trade now this is a big mistake that people make is that if you haven't seen a trade for a day or you think there's a position that would work and you're forcing it to make money that day then this is a really bad practice and this is all a psycho psychological factor and is not coming here to your rules right and this is the biggest part of a trading plan is your trade setup and rules and uh, yeah to wrap up this video i'm gonna leave this document you guys have to go fill this out for yourself also once you filled it out share it in the discord so everyone else can see you know if this is private this part no need to share that part but you know to see you know what type of plan you've made and you know encourage other people to make plans but the biggest part is going to be your trade setups and rules right your entry rules why why, why do you enter is it because of a candle close is it because of uh, the range breakout is it because of a certain area that you're looking for is it because of uh, the the volume in the candle did the next candle go break the high or break the low based on your different entry is your stop loss correct is the structure right are you trading at the correct time there's a lot of things that need to be placed in there and with that being said that's going to wrap up this video quick short video on how to make a trading plan here so guys just a quick reminder if you stuck to the end of this video please like and subscribe to this channel because you know what it gives me motivation to make videos for people who want to watch it you know otherwise i'm just making videos for no reason so if you can do that it really helps out and with that being said take care trade shop and until next time peace